We don't even know what this is called. Oh, a decade of difference. A decade apart? A decade of difference. Yeah, that sounds good. A decade of difference. D D D D D. Okay, so. I'm the youngest. If you didn't know. But I know you know. I'm I know just, you didn't know because you could hardly tell. I'm just confirming because I know all of you are like, oh, she's the youngest. No, I'm the youngest. Youngest what? Person. Sure. Okay. So, what we're, what are we going to talk about today? Karma! Let me just not get I hope you get a karma for that, <laughs> for ruining my ears. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> that was a good one, though. Hi, everybody. Hi, Craig. Um, okay, so we're talking about karma. And it was just a random, this today, really, was a random discussion about karma. Because I was like, you know, we're... A lot of people think it, karma is just what goes around. Hi, Wayne. What goes around comes around, right? Yes. That's or that's the same. That's the premise, right? Mm-hmm. But it's really not as literal as that. So, are you saying that scientifically speaking? Are you saying that because the book you're reading, or are you saying that just off the top? I'm saying that because it's no, it's just the research that I did. That karma is an action. So, like. It's not, okay, I did something bad to you, automatically something bad's going to happen to me. That's what people think, okay? So, like, when people are like, well, how does that make sense? Because some people who do bad things, they're, they get away with it. Okay. Right. So, I was like, yeah, that's true. How come sometimes, if it's supposed to be what goes around, comes around, how come some people are like... They get away with it. But I don't know if it's necessarily that they get away with it. I think karma is like a um almost like the law you have to have a guilty conscience when you're doing it some people are not built or equipped that way right that's why they get away with it because they don't feel guilty about what they're doing okay like the guilt going with the guilt is the action right like because you obviously know you did something bad or else you wouldn't feel guilty or remorseful right okay so if you don't feel guilty and you did something like, you know, like people who steal from like, you know, the white crimes and they get away with it because they don't feel guilty about it. Right. They can justify their action through whatever thoughts or their means of thinking. But do you believe in the whole boomerang effect where you throw a boomerang out and it's bound to come back to you? That's kind of like that the analogy that people use oh by the way can you guys hear us um i'm pretty sure someone would be like we can't hear no but like clearer since yeah please let us know drop a line we're fancy now see that she's fancy now that little lapel mic well because when we upload it to youtube people are saying they can hardly hear it so the sound is not the best quality in any case yeah so the boomerang effect where you throw a boomerang and you have to get it back. Or the pendulum. That's another analogy that people use. That the pendulum always has to come back the other way. Swing the other way. Are you talking about like the scales? It has to balance. Yes. Yeah. Yin and yang. So yes. Yes. And so, you know, having said that. So it also goes on. People, karma can go on to your kids. Mm. That's the scary part because I'm sure as young individuals you know as we're going through life we make mistakes but we we go through life and we have these experiences that obviously one or two not everybody is proud of you know we have done we're all guilty of doing <laughs> silly or stupid things in our I'm past. laughing at you because earlier you're like I gotta I gotta take stock <laughs> well this is the thing I don't want my children to ever okay to- I, to, to back it up. So when I came, I said, you know, I'm reading, like, doing this karma thing. And, you know, we are just started talking about how the fact we would like to, we would like to think that we're not responsible for what's happening in our lives. So what, what we see around us, we're like, oh, yeah, it wasn't my fault. I didn't, I, I didn't manifest this, right? Mm-hmm. And people want to believe that somebody is just, somebody else, like God, is just masterminding. We don't have control over our surroundings okay right so anyways i was reading i'm reading this book called many lives many masters and um a friend of mine suggested it because 
it helps you sort of deal with grieving and death and dying. And well, it's fitting anyways, today, my dad's 18th anniversary. May he rest in peace. Yes. And um, so this kind of like helps you kind of get through a different perspective of life after death and and anyways they brought up this karmic debt so I was starting oh my gosh we have karmic debt now like we have to worry about that now okay so karmic debt is anything that you've done in this life or the analogy is in this book that you've lived other lives like so this person is put being put under um, hypnosis for past life regression and she is like going through all these lives that she has lived before. So she apparently she's lived like 96 lives and she can remember them all under hypnosis. And then she speaks of karmic debt of like doing something in a, a previous life and maybe it manifesting in this life. Mm -hmm. So when you're wondering about why is this happening, it could be something that you have to clear up. That you've done before in a previous life. Well, you know, and just as we're speaking about this, my hair is just doing weird things. Um, you know, it's interesting that you bring up that point because your mom is going through Alzheimer's and she's uh, had this disease for a really long time. And so, of, of course, you know, you question why her and and how did this happen and what you, know, you backpedal and you try and think, you know, was there anything that could have been done differently to avoid this or pre prevent this? Or is it like the case you're saying? Could it have been something that her mom did in her or life? Or it could be me. Maybe I'm supposed to, in this life, care for her. Like, you know, like we, we it's it's pretty much, maybe it, the lesson is for me. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to do that. Well, look how much you've taken from this disease alone and right. how it's changed your life the past 20 years, right? Right, so like you have to think of like... All the connections. Yeah, like it may this was meant to be maybe i know as hard as that is to say because nobody wants to say like are you kidding yeah that, that was supposed to be like but you know i have to i have to think that way or else you know i probably would go crazy yeah like so i have to think okay yes it's a horrible thing and it, I, I can't you know every day it's a challenge to watch her go through this but there has to be a, a good reason. part of it there's a reason for it like it you know is it helping other people? Absolutely. Because mm -hmm. I have turned this into helping other people cope and, you know, counseling people that are going through it or their spouse is going through it. So, yeah, like, so maybe there's a method. Mm -hmm. Or that you're supposed to kind of, like, turn the good out of a bad. Right. To clear up your karma. Huh. See that? I mean, it's all connected. We're all connected in the great circle of life. Um, that was my Mufasa moment. Anyway, I thought I'd just throw that in there. Um, no, everything is connected and we're all connected in some, whether it's cosmic level it's, or it's spiritual level very, or ener energy level. Or... It's very difficult for me because you really have to want to seek this knowledge, mm -hmm. right? Like you have to be open. Woke. Okay. <laughs> anyways you have to be open because I you know we're from like very strong Catholicism devout Catholic family that where this would be completely frowned upon my father I could just hear imagine on today he'd be like this is absolute nonsense that you're talking like you're at well now maybe he has a different perspective since he's transitioned but I'm pretty sure if he was alive right now he'd be like that's nonsense what you're talking about is complete nonsense so but in reality it, it, it i think it only makes sense it it goes back to if you go to any religion the premise is do good and good will come to you that's it like that's the universal law like just be a good person well and that's law of attraction as well right right, right? what you put out you get back is what cause and effect right so you know the more good intention or the more good deed you do or you put out is that's what's going to return to you but then we go back to the same boomerang thing is that not the same the pendulum always has to kind of swing back well it has to balance so like if you do bad and these are like anything and you think about it because like you know we talk about the law of, the, of attraction and it says if you know 
you think a negative thought, a negative thought becomes an action, you know, like, so we manifest more negativity. And, you know, the, the, the secret is how do you get out of your head and not think of your present circumstance? I think, are, is that rhetorical or is that? No, like, yeah, okay. like I'm asking, like, I think... what's the, what's the trick? To remember that we're all spiritual beings and we're not of this flesh. Like this is just the, the carcass of our spirit. You know, once this dies, once the physical dies, we don't die. Our spirit goes on and, and our soul goes on. It, we're all energy. This is just a physical package of what, you know, we happen to be living in. Right? So it's like once we realize that we're not of this world, like we're just in it, if that makes sense. So... You know, this is at least the way that I feel about it. It's it's like if we just stay conscious of the fact that, you know, we're not our, just our bodies. We're not just the physical human. We're more than that. You know, we're, we're energy. We're, we're vibrating on different oh. frequencies. We're capable of tapping into so much more than what we actually do as humans. You know, it's like I think that would help. That's a start. Yeah, you have to see beyond yourself. For sure. For sure. Because we get very caught up in the physical, in the in the fleshy part of living. Well, I know? was saying, people don't want to embrace this, I guess it's called spirituality, because we don't ever want to think we're responsible for what's happening. Yeah, it's very hard it's to It's easy to just be self. like, oh, that's because, you know, it's just, oh, I, I can't believe this is happening to me. So someone else is doing it. It's very easy to... To be a victim. Yeah. It's it's more work to point the finger at self and realize or take responsibility for the role you play in whatever situation, you know? It's very easy to point the finger at somebody else and say, it's because of this person or it's because of what they did or, you know, poor me or whatever. But it takes a different type of individual to really overstand what self is doing in every situation and what type of responsibility they're taking for their role and what they play. Right? Well, again, that is exactly why, you know, when we're, we're, we're ba balancing everything where people are, you know, if we're going to go back into that, where people are like, oh yeah, um, and even in relationships, like, you have to be happy within yourself. Someone can't make you happy. That's right. Right? Like, so you are responsible for yourself. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody else. And nobody wants to, but nobody wants to do it. Everyone wants to say it's someone else's responsibility. I'm feeling this way because of this and this and this external circumstances. No, you're feeling that way because you're in your head. You have to get out of your head. Well, the hardest work is self-work, right? It's like, because people don't really see themselves and they don't want to take responsibility for any kind of negative action or, you know, things that are not working in their lives. They don't want to take responsibility for that. But that's where it starts. Well, like, you know, you know um, where people say, you know, I don't have to respond to every argument. Yeah, I don't that, have to win yeah, every argument. I don't, I could just walk away because I don't need to be disturbed. I don't want to disturb my inner Well, that's peace. one thing my dad always used to say, especially in his later years. He would say, I don't care what you guys do. Just don't take away my peace. Yeah. You know, just don't take away my peace. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to. Whatever it is that you got going on, if it's going to affect my peace, so be it. Just, I don't want to know about it. Like, exit here, you know? But so. that's even a, even people. Like, if people are negative and they're bringing you down, you have to, like, get away from them, too. You heard it. Right here, folks. I'm getting away from you. <laughs> just joking. See my halo? I'm just joking. It might be a little messy. Um, but it's my halo. You were just worried about your karmic debt five minutes ago. Because you trying to itemize. <laughs> how do you how do you clear it you, off? You I'm like planted it. No, I, I don't, but because I when you said that I'm like I really just that would suck for my kids to have to deal with some of the. She's like bad really sitting down I've going. Done. How how do you clear it? I'm like <laughs> I don't make the rules. Did you just plant the seed? I'm telling you what I read. I you you right have now. to really take account of your deeds yes i heard that that's why i was saying okay you so know it's hilarious we... because my mom used to always say that like oh my god i have a sore throat it's your deeds i'm like are you even a nurse i'm pretty sure that's not the diagnosis for everything but she used to always say it's your deeds and maybe she's right maybe she was on to something
It's just a thought. Just a thought. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways. <laughs> we digress. So let's get back to the original topic was karmic debt. And what do you think about that? Do you actually think that's a thing? Like that you have to, like, you have to clear your karmic debt. I don't know if that's even possible, first of all, because if it, if it is possible, then everyone needs to know how to do that so they can get on that ASAP. But, um, <laughs> there's a how to after this. I'm just I don't step know. one. I don't know. I have no idea. No, I but, just try to live good. That's all. Yeah. Walk good, man. I like, just try to live good. Thing. We know this as we age. That's the experience that comes with life. Right. But when you're young and you're invincible or so you think, and you do these crazy things or you make these really irrational decisions and you know, you do things that you're not so proud of that. Those are the things that, you know, you kind of want to clear up. And how do you do that? How do you go back in time and clear something that you don't necessarily want to remember or that you you know, you wouldn't mind just keeping in a closet I guess or you, you know, you, you're honest with yourself. Cause you have to, like, if you can't be honest with yourself, that's a big problem. Right. So like the first thing is be honest with yourself and then, you know, okay, what, what should I do that will clear that out? If you stole money, pay it back. I've not, I've never done that. I have done sillier things. Or, you know, things that were silly, but I've never been a thief. Well, I'm just giving you an example, I think. I'm talking about things that might, like, okay, so I'm going back to your mom again. Because... Okay, can you think, okay, how about this? Why don't you think of, have you, can you think of anything that you did and you got it immediately? What do you mean? Like, negative you mean? Or positive. Because the karma is good and bad, right? Like, good, you do good, you'll get good. You do bad, you'll get bad. Well, I can see how that could work with, let's say, the energy you put out. Yeah. So if, you know, you come at somebody that you know is having a bad day or whatever and you're... Like like what you did to me? I didn't do that to you. you Listen, take responsibility for the role you play. And then you felt bad after? I felt bad when I realized the day it was. And I was like, oh, can we just do this another day? That's karma. No, that was you not telling me first. That's karma. I hate but, you right now. Okay, yes. So anyways, we could do this. You will pinpoint a time and maybe you don't want to be. Who wants to like bait themselves out? Hi, Ken Wins. That's Uncle Ken Wins to you? I don't know him. Yes, you do. I do? Yeah. We, we met? Yes. When? I don't know. Hi, Uncle Kevin. That's right. Respect. Is I due. didn't know who it was. I can, I'm ba- I can barely read the screen. Oh, oh God, you're so savage. Karma. Remember your Sorry, karma. Uncle Kenwin. Respect is part of karma. Uncle Kenwin, do you remember me? Have Because then met? you'll be disrespected. Do you know who I am, Uncle Kenwin? Yes, he, th- he said hi, Wendy and Karen. Because of the previous podcast. We- can you relax yourself before I have to, like, take out some... Of my you're karmic. Gonna, you're going to ruin your karma. She's so gangster. No, I'm just saying, like, let's stay on point. Let's stay on point. Yes. We don't want to say what you did bad and you got bad right away. Because a lot of people, that happens right away. Well, then why would you ask me that and put me on the spot? I'm just saying. I can't stop. But, um, no, I said something good. You can think of something good. You don't. It doesn't necessarily have to good, be something bad. Something good, something good. Oh, my God, that's not coming to me. And remember, you can change it. Like, you're saying, well, how do I do it? You can change it. You can constantly just keep putting out good. Unless you did something really bad and sinister, well, that's on you and your kids. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Bad and sinister, like what? I don't know, like killing. Oh, I thought you meant me. I'm like, no, no I haven't like, done that either. Well, it, cheating somebody. Excuse me, please. break brought to you by you know the 99 <laughs> times i have my phone on silent this one time it happens to be on sound that's crazy that's karma 
So yeah, anyways, we're talking about karmic debt though. Debt, which is you've already incurred something. You did something bad and now you have to clear it. But again, you don't know. And if it doesn't get you, it can get your kids. So you have to just be mindful of that. Well, and I just, I think of people that are incarcerated. I think of people that have done really bad things. But like they're, how do they... they're clearing their debt because... Because they're in jail? Yeah. Well, that's, that's not you... nice. You want to be in jail? Pretty sure it's not luxurious in there. No, but that's how you have to go through pain and suffering in order to... And that takes 20, sometimes 30, sometimes a lifetime on death row to do that. Like, you know what I mean? How do you, what determines you actually cashing out and saying, okay, we're at par. I've done my deed. Because these are, I guess, I think that would, who would want to be incarcerated? Nobody. Right. So I think they're clearing their karmic debt. So like, again, so the duration, some people are incarcerated for two months, some two years, some 20 years, some a lifetime. What determines when you're at par, like, I don't or miss. you press reset, I don't know. Depends how much you do. It's interesting. It is. Well, read the book. Many lives, many masters. It's kind of scary, though. I, Why? Cause yeah, because really it is. Just, I told you I was very disturbed. Yeah, once scared. you, once you kind of like oh, kick open that door of, I need to know more. Because it's one thing to to go through your own journey, your own life journey, and you know, discover and make mistakes and do whatever. But then to think that your actions could actually, you know, trickle down to your children or your grandchildren, that's, that's scary to me. Like I would never want something that I, a choice that I made to really have a negative effect on any of my offspring. You know what I mean? Well then what about those things they call generational curses? Oh, that's a whole different podcast. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like this is a real thing. This Mm -hmm. is a real thing, but Mm -hmm. people don't want to, talk about it because it's just you know well, it's the like more, taboo. yeah the more you talk about something the more you bring it into awareness or alignment type of thing but i just think well i personally think you need to talk about it so that you can fix it or you can do better when you don't you know that saying you know when you know better you do better that's my saying on facebook it's under my name it says that yeah. no you're lying i'm not bad karma someone's gonna lie to you now Someone's gonna Why lie am to you. I lying? When, it's, when you lie, someone else is gonna lie I to you. I can't believe I have to do this. This is what happens. It's when, scale, 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 scale. Let's see. You're gonna feel really scale. bad. That's gonna be your karma right now. I'm gonna show you. Look at this. On my page, what does it say here? When you know better, do better. Okay, so you don't get bad karma. Good for but you. You just called me a liar. I said, you're lying. Yeah, so you okay. called me a liar. I apologize. Say it again. I apologize profusely. See that? For lying. I mean, for calling you a liar. You don't need to lie. You don't need to lie. But see, there it is. It's when you know better, you do better. So now you know. Go do better. That was actually Maya, Maya Angelou. Well, that's who I got the quote from. You didn't give her credit. You didn't source it. So you plagiarized. So you're still lying. My bad. I'm taking responsibility for my actions in this, and I am apologizing profusely to Maya Angelou. May she rest in peace. There. Cleared that debt. Next. On that note. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's been enlightening, to say the least. And maybe we can talk about when you know, well, ah, we'll research karmic debt. That's a lot. No, because we'll just, the premise of it and how, like, maybe there is something where you can clear it. Okay. Because I'm sure once you Google that, there's going to be a lot of There's material. a lot of information. Yes. you got to look. There's a lot of information out Who's there. Who's the author of that book you're talking about? I'm not sure. It's on okay. my iPad. It's on my Kindle. It's called Many Lives, Many Masters. There's, pretty sure that's the only book. And it's, it's, it's not for everybody, so... Yeah, you have to be ready for that type of material. It's, and it's all about this psychiatrist who is putting this woman who's suffering from these things that you'll find out in the book. And she goes under past life regression hypnotherapy. And then she, is, she can recall these 96 lives that she has experienced. It's a lot of lives. Yeah. Because they 
that's why it's many lives, many masters. Mm -hmm. And she talks about this karmic debt, about, like, depending on her life, what happened and what she went through to clear off that debt. So apparently, you live several lives until you clear it. And you heard it here. I didn't, I'm not the author. I know. <laughs> I just think it makes, it kind of makes sense. I'll have to check it out and definitely, you know, research it and, and read a bit of it to see if it's something that is going to catch me into reading Anything the Anything that thing. makes you cognizant of being a better person, I think, is a, a win. It's a thumbs I up. It is. It's a thumbs up. Because we're all here to evolve and grow and be better to each other. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. And on that note, it's a thumbs up. It's a karmic debt. It's a real thing. Thank you guys for tuning in. If there's, um, you know, if there's any topics that you ever think about that would be cool for us to cover, you know, leave it in the comments. We'll take a look and see if it's something that, you know, we can talk about for a few minutes and just share opinions or arguments or, you know, we are a decade of difference. Guess who, which is which. I'm going to leave that right here. Okay. Okay. So you guys have a great week. And, and uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time.